Hi guys and welcome to the first part of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer first person shooter course. In this course we will be going over from scratch how to create a full fledged multiplayer first person shooter game and if you are a beginner, an intermediate or an expert you will surely have something to learn from this course. We will be setting up first person shooter mechanics and we'll be using the power of both blueprints as well as C++. By the end of this course, you should be in a position to actually replace whatever we have done in this course with your own game modes, with your own characters, with your own animations and create something amazing. I would like to see all of your work. So let's get started. So just open up Unreal Engine. Hit next and we'll be starting from a blank template we'll be doing everything from scratch hit next and create a C++ project now we could we could do a blueprint one but we'd have to add C++ later so we'll just directly create a C++ project so let's choose our directory so I'm going to do it in another folder so let me actually create one so let's create a new folder FPS course open that up and create the project we'll call this uh, FPS maybe or FPS course Alright guys, so once Visual Studio is loaded up, on the right hand side you should have your Solution Explorer. Just right click on your project name, that is FPS course in my case, and click build. And in case you are doing this for the first time, you may have to set the configuration here. I will just show you guys what it should be. So let that build. Okay, so build succeeded. Uh, make sure your configuration is development editor, Win64 or whatever OS you are using. Now once we are done with that we can go ahead and close the solution. Just uh, open the file again and over here wherever you have created the project you should find a .u project file just open that up all right so this is how your blank project should look so let's actually start by you know analyzing what we are going to do throughout this course this is the first part so we won't be doing much I think this is about it. So first we'll be looking at uh, how to set up the various classes for your multiplayer game. That is your game mode, game state, player state and we'll have a proper scoring system with a sorted scoreboard. So that's pretty much it actually. We'll be having weapon mechanics of course, setting up a weapon system. I already have a few tutorials on that but this one's going to be more full fledged. So let's get started actually. Let's just create the folder structure and in the next part we'll actually start creating our game. So before we do anything, make sure in the content folder we have a folder called maps. The reason this is important is say I hit play and I type in open. Now you would you wouldn't see anything. You don't see any maps over here. That should be pretty obvious but 
if I head into my starter content maps you see there are a few maps here advanced lighting starter map and minimal default so if I just press play so if you don't know how to open the console click on your tilde key under your escape key on the keyboard and if I type in open as you see you don't see any map so open starter map that one's not visible either those are only visible over here so say I create a test map just save that go ahead and press play if I type in open as you see you see test so we'll be making use of this a bunch of times so whatever maps we'll be creating we'll be creating in the uh, in the maps folder directly in the content directory we'll name our map something don't worry about that and I want to keep it fresh so let's say we add any plugins or any content over here I don't want that to actually mess with what blueprints we have written so I usually like to create another folder called actual content so you could use an underscore up to you and inside of here want to have a folder called blueprints blueprints and we'll have other things which we'll create in the further parts so that's pretty much it for this video guys so in the next part we'll actually start with making the game I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you do like it make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and for any questions or suggestions link to my discord server is in the description box below you can go ahead and join that and I'll see you guys next time goodbye